Hey guys, it's me, the Dumb Fanatic, and welcome to week one of the APA Academy Season 2. Now, I'll be honest with you, I am not familiar with the APA Academy Season 1, so I'm not entirely sure if Season 1 was any sort of like similar to what this season is. Um, but I haven't uploaded my draft analysis yet because I'm really bad at this YouTube stuff. Um, and I may have uploaded it and may have not. So, if you don't know my team, I'll try and remember to leave it in the description below, but hopefully I'll upload my team builder as well. Whether it will be in order before this, I do not know because I'm already late with this. I've had lots of personal stuff going at the moment, um, and thankfully they gave me an extension to record this a bit late and upload it a bit late, so cool. Um, week 1 here, so I can't remember what team it is for my team either, but representing my team here against uh, Steven, who I think after this game had to back out from the league for some reason. Um, but his team was pretty scary. Um, I will leave his full draft in the description below because again, I'm doing this very late. I've completely forgotten what his actual draft was. But what I can see and what you can see in front of us is pretty much what you would expect for him to bring. Um, quickly go over what I have. I have a bulky Crobat because he has a Tapu Bulu. Um, I have offensive Kyrum White. Um, not Ky yeah, Kyrum White. This thing is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I've played a few games since. It, it just kills things for fun. It's amazing. Uh, bulky Rhyperia for the Zekrom. Uh, I believe it's Z Snatch uh, Hooper, but I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Uh, we've got Offensive Mega Kang or Bunky off it. Bulky Offense Mega Kang, I believe. And Bulky Tapu Finny. So Crobat, Rhyperia, and Finny between them can check pretty much the whole six that my opponent has bought, which is great. But it does mean that the game is going to probably last a while. Now I'm going to have to explain something really important here. Uh, we started this on Wi-Fi. It's a Wi-Fi league, so you're seeing showdown because we had to move over here because obviously we had a disconnect. It's about after 20 minutes, and after 20 minutes, I think we all we'd literally sat and done was defog and get rid of spikes. So we thought, you know what? Let's get rid of that. Let's just get everything's HP back to where it was. Scrap the defog. Scrap the spikes. We both agreed to that, and we went on from there. So, because of that, the first few turns are going to look a bit weird because they're not going to make sense at all. So I'm going to get into this. We're just going to play through the part where um, the that's a notepad. That's not what I wanted to bring up. Um, yeah, just quickly talk through this. And actually, you know what? We'll do this bit fast, shall we? Um, yeah. So basically, I've got to try and chip down his. I think it's his cleft key, and I think it was his. Maybe new. I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head. I cannot remember what it was. There's lots of recycling spamming. There's lots of new blast spamming. There's lots of uh, scalding. All sorts. Um, we're going to play switch around here just a bit to try and chip this thing down. Um, I think we did try to recreate it one time before this too. Um, but basically, I I think I got a massive crit, which made a difference. Um, but I think this is pretty much what I'm just about where we got to in the game. I am offensive. Speedy Kang, actually, not bulky. Um, but for some reason, we're switching out. Oh, no, that's it, because I clicked fake out by accident there. Um, I'm going to fake out. The signal beam didn't matter because he's going to. Spoilers. One shot me with Muinium Z uh, after this return. And uh, he's going to take me out. So that's fine. So I think we're now caught up. Uh, let's go slow. And I believe. It was that turn where I DC'd. Um, so, let's go ahead and put this in slow mode. So, obviously I have to go into Crobat here. Looking at his team, Crobat outspeeds pretty much his whole team, Bar Scarfers. Um, I think, I don't know if we figured it out yet, but later on in the fight or sorry, the match, we do figure out that this Mian Shower's choice, which is really easy for me to play around with my team that I have so far. Um, but I have to go into this thing because the only thing I actually have, sorry, that outspeeds uh, my, uh, the Mew. Uh, also, I thought, he's clearly not max speed because my Kangas can't outspeed. Um, I think he had a bit of bulk. So I have to go into this thing, I have to click U-turn. Um, he does decide to switch out into Klefki, which is absolutely fine. Um, U-turn doesn't knock him into recycle range, and this means I can bring in Kyra and White for free. And looking at his draft, I pretty much can click Fusion Flare for free. Yes, he's going, going to Keldeo, but that's a resisted hit, it still does 20%, it's non-stab. That's brilliant. Um, I actually predict my opponent to over-predict here. Next opponent to switch out, and I actually click Ice Beam, because I wasn't sure if he'd then try and make a switch into Zekrom. Now, looking back, it looks like a really stupid play, but at the time, there was probably a reason for me to do it. I do click Ice Beam there, my opponent does go into me and shout. Doesn't quite pick up the KO. If I had clicked Draco there, something on his team would have died, because there's no way this man is switching in Tapu Bulu to my Kyron White. 
Um, he does do Stone Age and it does miss on Finny, which in the long run doesn't make a difference, but it's really unfortunate. Uh, this turn I make the Galaxy Brain play Quick Scald, expecting Bulu to come in, obviously with, uh, removing my Misty Terrain, getting Grassy Terrain up. I go for the Scald and I do bank the burn, and this burn, um, I have to emphasize, is critical um, for me outstalling this thing, basically. Um, because I've burnt it, Stone Age can't uh, two-shot my Crobat now, uh, which is huge, so I can just restall this thing completely to death. Uh, until he runs out of stone edges. Or misses. I'm going to click roost because it is my Bulu answer. I need to stop that thing. Even though it's burnt, it can still be scary to things like my uh, Finny and my Rhyperia. Um, he does make the smart play into his uh, Bulu at this point. He is burnt and I am solid rock. I know I'm a grassy terrain, but I'm pretty sure I can live. I'm going to protect just to scout out what he wants to do. He does click Nature's Madness, which is absolutely fine. Um, I think he reveals his full moveset to be Nature's Madness, Horn Leech, Stone Edge. I don't actually know if we ever see the fourth move. But I'm going to go into Crobat because I don't care if you Nature's Madness is me. I can roost it off. Um, or you turn out and I can roost off on something like Clefki later on. Because we do also see that Clefki is only attacking move this game is the play rough. Uh, opponent goes into the Mien Chow. I'm going to go back into my Tapu Finny. He's going to have to click U-turn or hard switch out here, which he does. Um, and looking at his team, he doesn't really have a good switch into a move last. So I'm just going to believe click that. Uh, and Bulu takes 20%. So this is clearly a bulky Bulu, if not AB. Um, probably AB. I, I'm pretty sure I got sent the link, but I can't remember what it said. Uh, I haven't read it in a while. I'm going to switch back out into Crobat, which my opponent, I think, predicts. He goes into the end shower, which we have seen has got the Stone Edge, which is really good, which means I can't stay in with Crobat. Um, and I'm going to go into Ripe Period because I'm expecting the Stone Edge, which uh, he does click and it's 14% because Ripe Period is a god. Um, because of leftovers and grassy terrain, we're pretty much back up to full health anyway. And I know he has to switch out here, um, so I'm going to set up my Stealth Rocks, which is great. So now with all the switching my opponent is doing, he's doing a lot. Uh, it's going to limit some of the regenerator on the uh, Mian Shao. It's going to help kill off that Mew, which is really closely low. Um, it's going to just basically chip things down. Uh, he does give the stone edge and he misses. I think this really tilted my opponent, um, but in the long term, again, I don't really know if it matters too much. Um, I am going to, I believe, click Brave Bird this turn. And actually, what that does is uh, it does pop the berry on this Klefki. Uh, so sadly, it did have the berry. Um, but this Klefki can't really touch me. He just decides to defog the rocks away, which is fine because I'm going to click U-turn. So I actually get the momentum. I know he stayed in. I can now go into Chiron White and I can click, uh, click a move again. It's going to be Fusion Flare, and I don't believe Mian Shao is going to take this very well at all. Uh, it doesn't, spoilers. Uh, but I can't stay in. I wasn't man enough to click um, to click Draco Meteor against that Klefki. Uh, but I do predict the high jump kick here. Uh, Finny was probably a fairer play at that point, but as you can see, Crobat took that like an absolute champ. Uh, I do actually predict the Klefki to come back in though, and I do click U-turn. I'm going to get back into Kyron White, and now... I think the Mian Shao, even with Regenerator, can't live a Fusion Flare, so he has to go into Keldeo. Um, I click Ice Beam, doesn't quite do enough to do a KO, so I'm going to have to switch out, because Kyron White is still looking incredibly good for me this game. Uh, I'm going to go into Tapu Fini, uh, my opponent does predict that, but even with like the, the sheer power this thing does get, and the natural bug for Finny, it means I can take the hidden power, I'm going to guess Grass um, relatively well. I click School. I think I predicted the switch into Klefki, in hindsight I should click Move Blast because it hits the whole of his team other than Klefki, and if he wants to bring Klefki against me then he can't really touch me, um, so actually in hindsight looking back Move Blast was the play, but in, you know, it, it doesn't matter at this point, I'm getting my leftovers, I'm getting the grassy terrain recovery, I'm protect stalling this thing, so he's losing some PP but more importantly I'm getting my health back. Um, he does predict my switching to Crobat there, and that's where the burn is crucial, because without that burn Crobat would have very much died. Um, but because I live, I can actually roost this turn. I need to roost this turn. I can't switch in otherwise. And because I've roosted, I actually get the grassy terrain recovery along with the black sludge. So I'm pretty much back at full, which is fantastic. Um, and again, he's got the cleft key in, but the cleft key can't do anything. I'm going to hard switch out into my Kyron predicting my spikes. I haven't seen Thunder Wave or anything like that yet. Um, but he does have recycle, defog, spikes, and play rough. So we'd actually know in this, at this point he doesn't have it. Uh, he switches in the Zekrom on the Fusion Flare, so nice prediction there. Again, I probably wasn't going to click an Ice move or a Dragon move against Klefki. Um, 
the way he brought it in, I thought he was Scarf. But I'm Habanberry, that's it, I remember I'm Habanberry, so I could have taken any Dragon moves, so I decided to stay in Quick Eyes Beam. Uh, and actually, I do kill the Keldeo, which is really nice, because that's one less thing to deal with my Rhyperia. And actually, if you look at his team, outside of the Bulu, he really doesn't have anything to actually take on the Rhyperia. Um, but this is the position I really didn't want to get into. Um, he manages to get his Mew in on something which is slower, and that means he gets to click Roost for free. Which is really scary, because this is the situation I didn't want. Like, I can't outspeed this Mew. He doesn't know I'm not Scarf Hooper yet. Um, he does click Psychic and does crit me, which is annoying. And I make a really stupid play, I kick Draco in the Misty Terrain. I even said to myself before the game, I was like, you know what, I have to... I have to make sure I don't do that. And I did. But luckily I have Roost on this set, so I can actually recover my health. Um, and I go into Hooper now. Oh, sort of. Predicting the Roost, predicting the Psychic move, expecting him to want to switch out, predicting I'm Scarf. I'm actually going to click Dark Pulse here, and Dark Pulse into Psychic is actually enough to kill this thing. So I kind of wish I clicked two Psychics, there was no real reason for me to do it. But he expects me to be Scarf at this point, I reveal I'm not. Um, which is really upsetting because now he knows his Mew is faster than my Hooper, and I think with the chip damage he gets off on my Hooper, he does carry Signal Beam, it is going to be able to kill me. Um, I go into Crobat because it's my safer switch in against Mian Xiao. Luckily, my opponent didn't predict the Crobat switch in. But now, uh, Mew's in a really good place right now. Uh, I click Super Fang because I'm pretty sure he's not going to click like this turn, expecting me to switch into Hooper. So that Super Fang worked out really well for me. I'm going to U turn. He might potentially roost here. Um, but I'm going to go into Hooper because I, I can't risk him going for an attack on my Kyron White at this point. Because um, at plus two, I can live a Psychic. It's very unlikely, but I can. I do click the Z-Snatch because I know I'm slower than this thing. Uh, and unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to live the Signal Beam because he's plus two. If he wasn't plus two, I think I would have lived because Kyron Black is so naturally bulky. Um, I have a tiny bit of bulk in this Kyron White and I do live on 2%. I have to click Draco and fortunately Draco does kill this Mew. So, that pretty much, that turn of events won me the game. Um, I'm going to keep Kyron White, because if I can defog pretty freely against this Mian Xiao, uh, Kyron White can still do a lot of work against the Zekrom and the Tapu Bulu, so it's definitely worth him saving. Uh, but my opponent is going to click U-turn, and he is going to go into a Zekrom. Now, my opponent actually tells me after the game, he really didn't expect me to bring Rhyperior, which I was really surprised by, because yes, he has Keldeo, yes, he has Mian Xiao, um, but Tapu Bulu really is my only answer in my whole draft for a offensive Zephyr. Um So, yeah, in the end, sort of wearing his team down like that, it meant Rhyperia had a really easy time at the end game here. Uh, my opponent does miss the Nature's Madness, which is really unfortunate, because uh, I don't know if it would have changed the outcome of the game, but it certainly makes things easy for me. Um, now I have Rocks up again, he can't get rid of them. Me and Xiao's going to get hampered, Zekrom's going to take a bit more chip. Um, I do switch out to Crobat because he really can't do anything to my Crobat with this Tapu Bulu. I'm going to Super Fang because if he wants to switch out, that's fine. Um, but I don't really want to Brave Bird because I don't really want to weaken myself because I do outspeed the Zekrom so I can U turn on that. Oh, so I, I actually find out in the end anyway. Uh, also, uh, I need to be healthy for the Mian Chan place I need to click Brave Bird. I'm going to Roost. Uh, and I then realise that he isn't leftovers. I still don't know what actual item he was. Um, but I'm going to switch out into Rhyperia here, um, and my opponent clicks Substitute, so I'm like, ah, oh, shit, that's, that's really quite bad. Um, but luckily for me, he doesn't actually have the Earth Power, which is the move I was worrying about. Um, I don't actually know what his final fourth attacking move was. He does actually reveal to be Bolt Strike, Substitute, Roost. I don't know if he was like Home Claws, and then just Mono Electric. Um, I do click Rock Slide here though, predicting the switch into the Tapu Bulu, uh, because obviously with grassy terrain, he'll be able to lift the Earthquake, and that play pretty much means it's GG, because he can't do enough damage to my Rhyperia. Even if this was like Reckless, this thing can't do enough to me because of Solid Rock and the amount of physical defense I... Oh uh, no, sorry, I'm especially defensive set actually now I think about it, so it would have done amount, a good amount. I do have Protect though, pretty much just to you know, get Leftovers Recovery, because I don't have any reliable recovery myself. I do let him attack me, I click the Earthquake, didn't want to miss the Rock Slide. Um, that does mean now that I can click Protect and he will kill himself next turn. I will also get Grassy Terrain, I will also get my leftovers, and I think that does actually put me out of range of another high jump kick, which is really nice. Um, and with that, it actually means that my opponent's last one is Zekrom. As I said, it turns out he can't damage me, but there is another turn of Grassy Terrain. 
which is a uh, I uh, could have potentially swayed something, but because I did manage to... I didn't actually manage to get rid of the spike, so if he was uh, something that could have hit... Uh, actually... Actually, no, yeah, if he could have killed my Rhyperia, he would have won the game here, but he didn't. Um, and I do manage to kill the Earthquake and kill the Zekron, and we do take a 4-0 win in the first week uh, against Steven and his Hartford Whalmers. Um, guys, it was a, a relatively hacksy game. So I do apologise to my opponent for that. We talked about it, but he really wasn't happy with that, I know. And I don't know if that's what then caused him to want to leave the league. And if that is, I'm really sorry. Obviously, there's not a lot I can do about it. But it's the way Pokemon is sometimes. And my luck usually is quite terrible. So I'm quite glad that's actually gone my way for once. But um, yeah, um, thanks for the game. Um, thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of the season. Um, spoilers already played week two and week three. You don't want to miss those. Um, make sure you check out all the links in the description below. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.